Welcome, foolish mortal, to my... Uh, <coughs> 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 okay, ow, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> Let me get the lights and blow out some of these candles. <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, I didn't realize that there was that much smoke. I think I went a little bit overboard. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <sighs> I think that's better. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Would you mind just letting me do that again? <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome, foolish mortal, to my shop. Here, on All Hallows' Eve, you have stumbled upon a treasure trove of... A treasure trove of, uh... Huh. I'm... I'm so sorry. I... I promise you I did really well during the trial run yesterday. My professors gave me high marks, but... I guess real-world application is different than any classroom simulation. Do you mind if I just continue on like this? I think the coughing really messed up my voice. Is, um, <clears throat> that okay? Great. As I was saying, it's no mistake you have wandered into my shop, mortal. On this All Hallows' Eve, when the veil between the living and the dead is at its weakest. Magic can work wonders, and you, my friend, have the honor of addressing me, Violet Witch Extraordinaire, in, in training. But you should know that I'm only three credits away from attaining my official witch's license, so I'm pretty much a full-fledged witch. So don't expect my prices to be cheap. Wait, I'm... Um, Getting ahead of myself. Anyways, um... Give me a moment and... Let me just look through that. Check to see what customer wants. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Um, what brings you in? No, mortal. There are no mistakes. Humans cannot easily find my shop. But on magic nights like this, mortals with certain wishes are able to cross the veil. So, what does your heart desire? I can make it come true. For, for a price. A love potion? Really? No, I mean, I can do that, but it's not really exciting. I was hoping for a revenge spell or something fun. Anyways, yes, there are a few options for you. So I can whip up a spell to make the object of your affection notice you. But be warned that the potion will eventually wear off. If you manage to make them truly love you, you won't notice a difference. But if not... You'll be in for a rude awakening. That will cost you... A hundred gold coins. Or, I will accept any of the following. Bat wings, dragon scales, precious gems, and a new cauldron. No? Okay, well, you may like this one. You strike me as a classic romantic. See this? This is the same spindle that pricked the sleeping beauty's finger. You prick your finger and you won't wake up until your true love finds you. Pretty simple, right? Of course, there is a leeway of just a tiny little sentry. Of course, there is a leeway of just a tiny little sentry. Not a big deal, right? I mean, yeah, your whole family will be dead. But hey, true love, right? You're a stubborn one. Okay, well, why don't you tell me why you have to have this person? That may help me decide 
on an option. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, childhood friends. Okay, well, why don't you tell me why you have to have this person? That may help me decide on an option. Ah. Uh, childhood friends. That's so sweet. Oh no, growing apart? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. That is horrible. You want to tell them how you feel? But if you're wrong, it'll ruin the relationship for good. I can see why your heart brought you here. Let me see. There's got to be something... Snow White's apple, poisoned and chalice, bewitching enchantment, blah blah blah. Ah, here. Listen, I can't make you a love spell, but I can give you some liquid courage. Listen, I can't make you a love spell, but I can give you some liquid courage. No. No, not booze. I literally mean liquid courage. One sip, and you'll be able to tell them how you really feel. In cases like these, it's best to be honest. I... I love someone once, but they're gone now. And I remain. Anyways, here, take this. Before you meet with them, drink the vial. Your heart will guide you the rest of the way. Huh? No fee. No, really. I really couldn't take one from you. But, uh, on your way out, I think my professors will interview you about your experience. I would appreciate a five-star rating. Great, thank you. Good luck. Me? Well, maybe my shop will still be here, and the night is still young, so if you should need any of my help again, you will know where to go. Good luck. Okay, that was just a warm-up. I will make sure to really sell it next time. I've got this.